Today we're going to be making blueberry muffins. You take your pan and either line it with cupcake liners or take some non-stick spray and gently apply it to each of the muffin tins. Gently circle around each muffin hole. Once that's complete, then you get to go preheat your oven. The blueberry muffins will bake at 400 degrees, but also if you're using a dark colored pan, sometimes the muffins won't take as long to bake because of the dark color or they don't need to be on as hot. Today we're using a medium colored pan, so we're going to click start, bake, and then go all the way up to 400 degrees. And then hit start. Once your pan is prepared and the oven is preheating, go ahead and set these aside. The first step is to add all of our dry ingredients into one bowl. The first step is a cup and a half of whole wheat flour. So we're going to spoon our flour in to our one cup measuring. measuring all the way until it's full and a little bit over and then taking a butter knife and take the back half and gently scrape off the extra. So we need a cup and a half. So that was one cup and this is half a cup. And again, repeat the process and gently scrape off with a knife. Next, we need a half a cup of yellow cornmeal. This one, we're just going to scoop, take our knife again, the back half, and gently scrape off the extra. We need half a cup of sugar, and this can be done the same way as the cornmeal. Gently take your knife and scrape off the extra. Next, we need a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. So for this one, get your measurer, you stick it in, get it heaping, and then use the flat side of the lid to scrape off the extra and gently pour it in. And then here's the half. Again, scraping off and leveling it off. Next. We need half a teaspoon of baking soda and for this one again you can use the flat side and scrape off the extra. Lastly for our dry ingredients we have salt so we're going to take the half a teaspoon and pour it full shaking off gently the extra and pour it in the bowl. Once all your dry ingredients are in the bowl Gently stir them all together. The next step is to cut off three tablespoons of butter and melt it in the microwave. Following the ruler on the side of the butter stick, cut it on the third line or three tablespoons with your butter knife. Then simply unpackage it and put it into a dish and put it in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds. Once your dry ingredients are ready, then we get to mix up our liquid ingredients. Take the egg, crack it into your bowl, and gently mix it together using a whisk.
Once the egg is broken up, you can go ahead and add your milk. Always remembering to check the liquid measurements at eye level. Go ahead and pour the milk into the egg and gently mix these together too. And then you can add your butter. And then your vegetable oil. And this is liquid too, so make sure that we check right at eye level. And then you can go ahead and add this as well. Go ahead and mix these all together. And then take the bowl of dry ingredients and pour this into the dry ingredients. Mix it well, the consistency should be nice and thick. After all of the wet and dry ingredients are combined together, simply add the blueberries. For this recipe, we need one cup of blueberries. I'm using frozen blueberries, but fresh fruit is also a great alternative. And it helps you get your recommended one cup of fruit a day. Once you have your cup full of blueberries, pour them in, and then gently Fold the blueberries in so that we don't crush them. Using a rubber scraper is a great way to fold. To fold, simply grab from the bottom and set it on top. Continue this process until all the blueberries are equally mixed in to the whole batter. Once all the blueberries are folded into the batter, take a batter scoop or a spoon and scoop into each one of the muffin tins. Scraping down the bowl with your spatula helps save and get the most out of all of your baking. Once your muffin pan is full, simply put it in the oven. And remember to be safe. Ovens are very hot. Don't be afraid to ask an adult for help. Once these are done baking, they should be nice and golden brown on top, and a toothpick, when you put it in the middle, should come out clean. Once the muffins are golden brown on top, take an oven mitt and simply remove them from the oven. And set them on top of the stove to cool.